Welcome back everybody. It's been a few days since we took our last videos and as you can see plants are huge right now. Every day they're growing several inches probably dang near to foot a day at this stage so that's what we're looking for. We got two great plants and hopefully we're gonna have two great pollinations. So check it out first our 2168 Werner the one side, like if you remember right, this side was always doing better than these sides, but you can tell now they have all taken completely off. We got side vine right at the little girl. That's what we're watching. And all of these are growing. So you can see, looks like I got a little over two. That's a half of a one to go of my weed barrier. And over here, it's on the last ones. We have less than two before we terminate just a good way of watching how fast they grow and stuff like that so i guess that that's going to need to be terminated here in the next week something like that not 100 percent sure but somewhere around in that range and now going to the pumpkins that is the one and like i said i got a post here so I personally don't believe that there makes any difference in how you grow a plant. The biggest thing, the most important thing, big, huge, beautiful plant. Those are the ones that grow the biggest pumpkins. I think you can literally do anything that you want to with this plant as long as it's healthy and big. That's the most important thing that I go for. So, this one here, I'm growing different. There's my post. Here's my main vine. It was coming right through here. Well. I grow it over here. That pumpkin, hopefully, is going to get so large that it would run into that post. So now I've taken my main vine, directing off that way. I will slowly turn that sucker. So go like this. So we're still turning it. We're going to turn it back there. And it'll loop back, and then it'll come out here. And I think I'm just going to let it grow straight. Maybe let it go grow down to the end of the greenhouse probably let it grow but uh, I'll take all the side vines off on this side and let them grow the ones that fall on this side of the plant well they'll go bye bye after we know that the pumpkin is doing what it's supposed to do and as of right now she's growing well I don't know maybe tomorrow right there she is June 3rd pollination kind of looks like it to me I was thinking uh, Sunday but uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Saturday pollination, so it's going to be fun. We got the Twitch camera up there pointed right at her. So tune in to Twitch, see when that actually opens up, and watch that girl grow. Nice plant. Let's keep her going. It's June. It's Kansas. This is where the fun begins. It's easy to get them to this stage. but it's going to be hard to keep them this way. And I don't know if I said, but this is Friday, this June 2nd. So I always like to say that just to make sure we know what day I took this video for next year. Anyways, here's the 2425 Deletus. On this plant, if you notice, it doesn't look as green on the tips as it does in the middle. Some people might freak out about that, start dumping the nutrients to it. However, I know that it has been very cloudy the last three days. So this is about two and a half, three days worth of growth. When you don't have as much sun shining, your plant doesn't green up as much. So something not to worry about. An easy way to tell if your plant is doing what it's supposed to, even though it's not maybe as green as you want it, the cobra heads. Right here. If your plant has the cobra heads going, even though you can tell this leaf isn't quite as green as these leaves, don't freak out. Don't dump a ton of nutrients to it. That's what you want. You want a cobra head. If it's sticking straight up in the air, you got issues. But we got cobra heads. Not as green. It will green up. I might even hit it with, I haven't been hitting it with anything at night to help green them up with as far as like foliar feeding, but seeing this, knowing that it's cloudy, I might hit them a little bit. Not much, just a little. Anyways, 
2425 Delitus. There's the girl there. Here was my post. I think it was back here somewhere. So it's had quite a bit of growth since then. It's way past where I want it to be. In fact, the next one would be fine to get it in that spot. But in the next one after that, it'd almost be too far. It'd be to the end of my greenhouse. So it needs to be this one or the next one. Hopefully it's this girl right here. She is different. She, there's my post here. It's falling on this side of the, towards me, towards you. So no big deal. I'm going to direct this one, let the plant grow, do a little loop, let the plant grow. Nothing crazy here. Side vines will just fill in our area that is left. So 24, 25 Deletus, looking great. Everything is going as expected. Like I said, it's early June. Stuff can change real fast. All right, we'll do a lot less of an update. So I like to give the bigger ones at first, and then we'll just kind of watch what she does from here on out. See ya. Well, here we are, people. I've had to wait for over a year, dreaming of what cross I would make next. And on this beautiful overcast day, the baby has finally arrived. There she is, the 2168 Warner. Not the most uniform four lober, but she is what we got. So here we go. There we are. The boys have all been used up. See all the pollen? Now it's time to close that girl up. Okay, it is June 5th. And we wanted, I wanted to get out this video here. I want to finish it up because I've been going back through my old videos and it is always very helpful to myself when I can see when the pollinations were done. So this one here is the 2168 Warner. And as I said, I pollinated this on June 3rd. So it is right now looking good. It's been doctored up. We got this in place. I'm probably gonna take this off and put plastic on. I have some white plastic and I like the white plastic better. This is a blanket, it's a little bit heavier. Seems to do fine, but I think I'll just go with the white plastic. It's just lighter weight. So once again, it wasn't quite a perfect five lower, but it's looking good right at the moment. Pretty long, nice thick stem. So a little overview of the plant. Plant is looking good filling in very quickly and I'll zoom right back there just in case Pete watches this two leaves got scorched ah. the rest of the plant looks good but those two leaves got hit so looking good colors great 168 more so now we are at the 2425 delete us this is the plastic that I'm going to use over there. I really like it. Lighter weight, easier to work with. I have two layers on there. I can unfold it and make it wider if I needed to. <laughs> Good problems, right? <laughs> and so right down here, we have its pollination, which was done this morning. Go look at it. A perfect four lover. This is what you want. In Kansas, it's it hot, humid which it was today, hot and humid. That's why the one plant got a little scorch on it. So I always take the flower, half of it off right now, and then I'll take the rest of it off tomorrow. So that's how I do it. I don't know how other people do it, but that's how I do it. There's a four lober right there. I mean, absolutely perfect. Go look at the little baby. It's a longer one. The stem seems to be nice and long. And I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up but she looks to be an orange one. We'll find out if she turns out white, like mama, or if she turns out orange. Man, we'd really get lucky there. Overview of the plant. It's filling in nicely. This one here just has a little bit more to go, and we'll be terminating that one. This side over here on this plant, it's closer over here just because I have it more off-centered. So they're as long, but they got a little bit more room to grow over there. So they all look very good, very healthy. 
and no scorch on this plant so we'll see we'll see what happens it is go time baby good luck everybody hopefully your plants are all rocking and rolling baby